Hello everybody and welcome to BBSH Crazy 2. My name is Brandon Burns. Most of you already know me as the person who edits videos. I also love to play video games and Skyrim is one of my favorite games of all time. And I decided to make a walkthrough uh, with Skyrim, but we're not going to be playing the original uh, quest lines of Skyrim because everybody else already did that and I've decided to focus on one of the mods and it's called the interesting NPCs now the thing about this mod is that it is absolutely amazing and if you're a Skyrim player I highly recommend you to play this mod and it won't be a waste of time I can guarantee that a lot of professional voice actors and modders worked on this project. It is very easy to install this mod. You can either do it manually or you can just use Nexus Mod Manager to download this mod. Either ways work perfectly fine. The last time that I played this mod, it was over a year ago. And believe it or not, but it took me more than two weeks to finish this mod. It is an extensive mod after all. Uh, it contains over 50 quest lines that uh, you might actually enjoy playing it and it's really cool. Uh, in addition to over 250 NPCs with, uh, which have uh, really cool background stories and you might even uh, enjoy just talking to them uh, and learn about the characters. I know I did. And you can also check this trailer here. It gives you a general idea about uh, what this mod is all about. Just as I said before, uh, we're going to be playing this mod and I'll try to... Uh, will do my best not to get involved with the game's original storyline. Well, that includes the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood and other quest lines, possible quest lines that there is in the game itself. Welcome back everybody, we're at Helgen and the headsman is gonna chop off my head. Well, you all know what's gonna happen. Well, I've decided not to use the quick start mod uh, because maybe in the future I may be... Uh, I'm, I might do a, another walkthrough with Helgen Reborn and if you want to play that mod, uh, I advise you not to use uh, the quick start mod. Um, and if you don't want to play that uh, Helgen Reborn, you feel free to use that mod. If there's no problem with that. Right, uh, let's just get to safety before I get burnt. Alright. So anyways, yeah. Um, quick start mod and Helgen Reborn, there they interfere with, with each other and um, so that's my suggestion and it, it's not that the files interfere with each other uh, it's because uh, the, the Helgen is gonna be as it was that when you were riding in the cart and all those characters you saw in there uh, they just remain there and that's that can be a little little annoying so yeah that's my point anyways uh, oh yeah there he is oh the kid's father is gonna get crisped anyways uh, I'm going to be talking through this phase and explain a little more about whoa that's cool explain a little more about this mod and uh, uh, Obviously, I'm talking about the interesting NPCs. Basically, uh, most of the quest lines triggered by meeting the NPCs or uh, activating their dialogues. And sometimes you have to uh, uh, go through the qu uh, really uh, small quests so the NPCs could meet each other and uh, uh, proceed to the next quests okay well oh, the door is closed over there <laughs> all right so 
that's one of the things that uh, you need to focus on to you know, talk to the NPCs and uh, just activate the... Whoa! I'm gonna guess he's not gonna make it. Yep. Smashed. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck Stormcloaks. I'm joining you. Yeah. Okay, um... So I basically used another save mod. Uh, which starts at that point that you just saw. And let us just uh, take a look at the character I created. And obviously I'm going to add the links to all the mods that I used for this character. And uh, that includes like the ponytail and uh, the head tracking mod. Anyways, um, I'm going to include all those mods in the description below. By the way, uh, my character's name is Siliana the Tigress, if you're interested in that. And uh, I'm gonna cut the video right here and proceed to Whiterun. Uh, because that's where we encounter the first interesting NPC. Uh, well, actually there's one in Riverwood as well, but we're not gonna be talking to him yet. Alright, uh, I'll see you in Whiterun. I think I saw the character I was looking for. Oh, there she is, uh, walking up the stairs. If you're looking for the court wizard, I'm not him. Farangar is the one you want. If you wish to speak with him, you'll find him somewhere in the general direction of boredom. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, there's this invention called wine that requires my immediate attention. Okay, wait, I have some questions. If you must, as the Nords say, make it quick. Brevity would be my favorite word if it didn't have three syllables. Now, <laughs> wine, that's a good word. Short, sweet, intoxicating. People love wine almost as much as they love whining. Uh -huh. I'm one of those people. Okay, go on, tell me more about the bottles of wine. Although some say the spiced wine in solitude rivals any vintage the Third Era ever produced. I'd say those people have never been to the Isles. I apologize, were you saying something? Okay, may I ask your name? My name is Elderwin. I've come to Whiterun for the Skyforge and for Farangar. Uh, you seem to have an obsession with wine. Okay, as you can see, these characters, uh, uh, they have personalities. I don't see that as a negative. My Nord friends often chide me for neglecting the rich history of Skyrim. As if I was ignorant of it. Oh, my ponytail's moving over there. Know, Elder, there's more to Skyrim than just alto and spiced wine. And I tell them, yes, yes, I know all about your windmills and bards and 12 different words for cold. <laughs> I only care about the wine. Okay. Uh, why the Skyforge? Yorland allows me to use his magical forge to craft jewelry. I use the enchanting table at Dragon's Reach to raise their value. Then I turn them around and sell them to Farangar, and he always buys them. I've never met a man so obsessed Ooh, that's, with necklaces. That's smart. He says their enchantments are valuable. I think he likes to wear them. Maybe tomorrow I'll enchant him a dress to go along with it. Elduin, where have I heard that name? Really? No doubt from that knave Larkspur telling everyone that I'm a battle cat under the sheets. The truth is, I don't even remember any of it. <laughs> what do you remember? Uh, I don't think that's it. That's disgusting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with... Uh, uh, he does bathe, yeah. doesn't he? The goblet I drink from has been used by countless others, but it's still clean. Uh, gross. You. Where do you gather souls for enchanting? Caves are the best place to find packs of wolves, or bears, sometimes even trolls. Unfortunately, by myself, they provide a bit of a challenge. There used to be three other mages in my faction, a motley bunch to be sure. A Khajiit, a Redguard, a Lord, and myself. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Why four? Four mages can be a formidable party especially when their talents complement each other. 
As a result, I can afford to make mistakes. Mistakes like trading our last healing potion for a flask of wine. Not a problem when the Red Guard was there to restore my wounds. Thankfully, the one talent I do have serves me well. It turns out most feral beasts in Skyrim are susceptible to fire. Mm -hmm. Okay, what happened to your companions? Victim to the squalls of battle, I'm afraid. It matters not if you are a novice or an archmage. All it takes is a single misstep. The Khajiit was first. Poor Khajiit. They always end up being the victim everywhere. Next came the Red Guard, then the Lord, and soon only I remained. They're all victims. Okay, tell me about the Khajiit. The Khajiit, Razan, was what we call a scroll mage. Not an ounce of magical talent, but one who desperately wanted to cast spells. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. The scrolls, he never said. I thought he stole them, but he just as easily could have spent his share of the boon. It's not as if I ever saw him at the inn, or anywhere else for that matter. He was a paranoid cat as well, with a nose for exist. Always convinced there was a spy lurking around the corner. He should have been wary of his dealer. He purchased a bad batch of flame cloaks that ended up burning him alive. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> How did the North die? Well, at that point, it was just the two of us. Ralzan wasn't particularly missed, but Sarasa was our healer. Einar was a gallant Nord, if nothing else. We were exploring a cave to the northwest. A large, desolate space rumored to be inhabited by necromancers. We entered the main chamber, which was hollow, save for the long fangs of rock that jutted from the ceiling. It was in the shadow of these fangs that the spiders lived, and from there they descended. We stood back to back as they surrounded us, his hands shrouded in ice, mine cloaked in fire. I wanted to set them aflame. To oblivion with soul traps. A waste of magicka and time. But I now saw fit to waste both. Okay, uh, greed slays more mortals than spiders. Uh, I don't know what that means. It was his soul trap that set them upon us. At one point I couldn't distinguish the live ones from the corpses. So oh, I, I get it now. All. We had managed to clear the path to the exit, however. And we're just about to escape when a spider the size of the moon dropped from the ceiling. At this point, Einar and I were both out of magicka, and we each had one stamina potion left. Of course, mine was technically a wine bottle. <laughs> it was an old vintage from the wineries of the Isle that I was saving them till death. Einar asked me if I wanted to trade. He said I wouldn't have much use for it, seeing as I was going to live a long, healthy life. <laughs> That old romantic. He was sacrificing himself so I might escape. Yeah, he was in love with you. To that man. He drank the wine, wiped his lips, and showed me his teeth one last time. They were stained in red, but I've never seen a smile so bright. Then he pulled out his dagger and drew the ugly beast's attention while I ran for the exit. Yeah, that, that's a, something romantic. Also sad, too. I've never heard of such a cave. Where is it? Like I said, somewhere northeast of here. It had one of those typical Nord names like Icewind Gulch or something like that. <laughs> okay, what happened to the Red Guard? Sarasa was brash and bold, and my kind of woman. Too brash for her own good, though. She wanted to trap grand souls instead of common ones. The most plentiful source of grand souls are mammoths. The most common place to find mammoths are giant camps. It was a short-sighted idea. We ended up wasting all our profits on magic potions, provided we even survived. Sarasa didn't. Giants are quite protective of their big furry cheese factories. <laughs> furry cheese factory. <laughs> That's nice. Fine, fine. Okay, and... Uh... What else can you tell me about the wine, besides drinking it? When it comes to examining wine, I'm still just a novice, although I have picked up the basics. 
I doubt you've learned much of anything drunk, but go on. Well, supposedly the color can tell you the wine's provenance, as well as the conditions it was developed in. So uh, I yeah. an indicator of how I guess that's taste. true. Wine tasting mm -hmm. is apparently all about discovery. Yet I've discovered that I enjoy drinking wine more than I enjoy tasting it. Oh yeah, you're so my kind of gal. Sniff and swell their goblets. I prefer to swallow my wine like a common rube. Me too, I wanna get drunk. Um, yeah, you and me both, and the other options don't seem to be interesting. Uh, yep, you and me both, sister. I like how you agree with the things I say. Why aren't there more? I know, I'm stupid, I agree with everybody. Uh, it's not every day I meet a mage who can use the forge. I don't really understand it myself. There should be more of me. It seems to me smithing and enchanting are two complementary skills. I know. I can only assume it has to do with the stigma that comes with being a blacksmith. A what? Uh, what stigma? They say to wield a hammer, you must be as dull as an anvil and as strong as an ox. As if stupidity were a prerequisite for the craft. No, that's a myth. Although I have heard warriors talk of such things. They say the person who thinks too much on the battlefield lacks focus. Um. In battle, having an empty mind certainly makes you more decisive. But the forge is not something that requires you to act swiftly. Um, but I do like the notion of intelligence being the weakness. Yeah, I agree. Every time I try to use my mind, I get into trouble. Uh, what do you think? Why is that? There are far too many mages who thumb their noses at common folk, as if worth was defined by the size of one's skull. Alchemists invented wine. Farmers harvest the grapes, and smiths provide the tools. Okay, so we're talking philosophy mean, here now. Uh, than all the mages in Winterhold. Okay, and... That will change if and when I join the college. Uh, no, I'm not gonna join the college. Worth is based on how easy someone replaced. Farmers are worthless. Alchemists invented wine? Well, don't quote me on that. It does I didn't. seem likely though, doesn't it? It does. Some alchemist trying to invent a new health potion stumbles onto a recipe for liquid bliss. Ooh, that's cool. If I could invent something like that, I would be rich and very lucky. Farewell. Away with you. Okay, I think it is time to wrap things up in Maybe here. Later. Sort of busy now. Yeah, no one's talking to you. Go away. Thank you. As you could see, uh, she had quite a personality that makes her unique and special. And each of the interesting NPCs that we're going to meet along the way, they all have their personalities that uh, is that uh, they're very interesting. That's why the mod is called interesting NPCs. I hope to see you guys on the next episode where we officially start this mod. I bid you a fond farewell and take care. Have a good day.